Hi, I'm Faye with Global Finance School. Management is like the brain of an animal that controls its heartbeat, breathing, and movement, and possesses its sensations. Without management, a business or organization would fail, the same way an animal without its brain would die. Companies today maintain fewer layers of management, relying more on teams to manage themselves. So even if you have no particular aspirations to reach top brass, the ability to manage yourself is a necessary skill for anyone and everyone. In addition, people often can't see themselves objectively. Management is needed to help steer business in the most efficient and profitable directions. But how do you become a manager? Tom Northrup, a leading expert in the field once said, no great manager or leader ever fell from heaven. It's learned not inherited. We at Global Finance School believe anyone can learn to be a great manager, and we are happy for this opportunity to help you reach those goals. Skills in leadership, creative thinking, communication, human relations, decision-making, organizational development, accounting, and economics are just some of those required to succeed and are included in the many topics reviewed in this course. So to start off, you will obviously need a desktop or laptop computer with internet access and headphones or speakers. We also have some additional reading materials that, while are not mandatory for full comprehension of the course, are highly useful resources. If you're looking for some added value or a more in-depth overview, we definitely recommend reading through. Students will be expected to complete quizzes and questions on some of the course and supplementary material. At the end, you should test yourself on what you learned with the final exam. We also suggest completing the homework assignments, essays, and papers in the course so that you may practice implementing different skills and tools. As this is an introductory course, no previous knowledge is required but you will need an open mind, an eagerness to learn, and a little bit of patience to successfully complete this course. So now that you know what is expected of you, we can talk about what you should expect from us. For starters, we're going to go over that ever crucial relationship between organizations and the economic environment, as no business is an island. But what constitutes organizations in the first place? You will learn about different types of organizations and their purposes, as well as how those purposes are affected by macroeconomics. Later, you will identify various stakeholder groups and understand how corporate social responsibility, CSR, is defined. Learn how to identify opportunities for new ventures, measure and forecast supply and demand, segment markets and target audiences, and develop products. This will help you expand your business, whether it be a startup or an already flourishing big corporation. Finally, we will teach you how to write a business plan and pitch a project for funding, how to communicate your ideas and how to manage your financing. Don't forget that in business, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. At the end of this course, you should have all the fundamental tools needed for you to start managing yourself as well as other people and raise your business up to higher grounds and achievements. But who are we at Global Finance School? Back in 2009, a passionate group of thinkers working within the world of finance put their heads together and Global Finance School was born. Our goal is to bring useful financial and management information to the general worldwide public. By providing easy to access business education tools, we have empowered individuals, families, and businesses to better understand personal and corporate finance, global and national economy, and business management. Our team of professionals and e-learning experts have worked together to develop a variety of high-quality education tools for diverse learning purposes. So let's get down to business.